What is up? It's Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our biochemistry playlist. This is good for your MCAT, DAT, or NEAT exam. In previous videos, we talked about amino acids, the peptide bond, protein, protein structure, i.e. primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure. We talked about conjugated proteins and denaturation of proteins. Today, we'll talk about enzymes because, as you know, most of the enzymes in your body are proteins. Enzymes are catalysts. They speed up the reaction without getting changed by the reaction. This is my biochemistry playlist. Please watch these videos in order for maximum retention. What are proteins? They are basically a bunch of polypeptides which are made of amino acids. What kind of peptides do we have? Di, tri, oligo, and poly, depending on the number of amino acids. So if we want to be honest and technical, you go like this. One amino acid, then two, dipeptide, tripeptide, oligopeptide, and then the big protein. Most of your enzymes are proteins. Protein structure could be primary, secondary, tertiary, or quaternary. Primary is the sequence of amino acids. Secondary is the recurring patterns, such as two types that we have, alpha helix and beta pleated sheets. Then the three-dimensional is known as the tertiary structure. And then two plus two is four, two plus two is four. This is the quaternary structure. And this is a comparison table among the protein structures, as we discussed before, please pause and review. Conjugated proteins is a protein plus something else, aka a prosthetic group. Please pause and review. Back to amino acids, which make up proteins. What if I want to lump two amino acids together? Well, you'll get a dipeptide. What kind of bond should I form between them? The answer is a peptide bond. How do I make this? Take an H from here and take an OH from here. Congratulations, you have water. Okay. Then the rest is the peptide bond. And this is an example of a chemical reaction. No kidding. Begin with the end in mind. What the flip do you want? I want to make a peptide and I want that peptide to perform an actual function. Then you want the peptide to be stable, right? Yeah. Okay, now what do you want? I want to digest that peptide. You want to break it down? Yes, that's true. How do you want to break it down? Uh, in presence of water, i.e. by hydrolysis. Yeah, that's right. What would you call the enzyme that breaks down stuff in presence of water? Hydrolase, because hydro means water. Therefore, in that sense, trypsin and chymotrypsin, the famous pancreatic enzymes, are hydrolases. Why do you end in ACE? Because it's an enzyme. Most enzymes, not all, end in ACE. And why do you say hydrolase? Because they break down stuff in presence of water. Okay, medicosis, now I want to break down the peptide bond in presence of water. By hydrolysis, you mean? Yeah, that's right. Using a hydrolase like trypsin and chymotrypsin? Yeah, that's true. Then add water. Okay, let me add water here. OH and H. And then boom, you're back to amino acid and another amino acid. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, medicosis schmeezy. All of this was reviewing previous videos. Now to today's topic, enzymes. The best way to understand enzymes is to imagine that you want to travel from California to New York. You can do this on feet, on a bicycle, in a car, or on an airplane. The airplane is the quintessential enzyme. Why is that? because it speeds up the reaction. You'll go there faster. Now suppose that we did not have an enzyme, i.e. airplane, and you're going to New York in a car, but not just you. The 200 passengers that were supposed to be in an airplane are now driving individually, each in his own car. Oh, this will take too much time and too much energy. Excellent. Therefore, by providing an airplane, you're lowering the activation energy you're still arriving at the same flipping destination. However, you're using lower energy. Just like changes in weather can make or break your flight, changes in pH and temperature can make or break an enzyme or a chemical reaction. Each enzyme has a preference. It has an optimal point, optimal temperature, and optimal pH. 
you mess up with that, the enzyme will not be happy with you. If you want your reaction to be hydrolysis, then you should talk to a hydrolase enzyme. But how about talking to something else like a kinase, like a oxidase, reductase, transferase? No, 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 we are specific here. Specific for a particular reaction or a class of reactions. Enzymes are specific. Enzymes do not get changed in the reaction. They are neither changed nor consumed in the reaction. Just like the airplane. After the airplane delivers you to New York, we do not throw the airplane in the trash. We can reuse it again because it was not consumed. Did your airplane change your destination? No, you still arrived in New York. So the equilibrium position or the equilibrium constant is the same. Moreover, enzymes do not change the thermodynamics. Thermo means heat, so the heat of the reaction will not change. When you travel to New York in an airplane, this will not make New York cool in the summer and hot in the winter. Moreover, enzymes do not change the overall free energy of the reaction as we will discuss soon. Another helpful analogy. Here is the initial state and here is the final state. And you're trying to leave point A and go to point B. You can do this uphill, which takes lots of time and energy, or you can go the easier route, the shortcut, the enzyme, so that you will arrive to your destination faster and using less energy. But make no mistake about it, you're still arriving at the same point, which is point B. You see this analogy? Now I want you to imagine that it is fixed on this graph right here. Just put it upon this graph. Here's the initial state, here's the final state. You can go uphill, which takes lots of time and energy, or you can go the shortcut way, the enzyme way, the catalyst way, which decreases activation energy. On this graph, what's the activation energy? Activation energy is the point between A, which is here on this line, and the crest, the zenith, the top of the graph. For the first graph, the top is here. So the activation energy is from here to here for the gray graph. But for the catalyzed orange graph, when we use the enzyme, this is your new activation energy. As you see, enzymes decrease the activation energy. They make it easier for you to reach your destination. Whether you go uphill without an enzyme or whether you use a catalyst, you are arriving at the same destination. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Therefore, if you measure the overall change of energy of the reaction, which is delta G, which, by the way, is the difference between A and B, the initial and the final state. Let's measure it for the gray graph, all right? Here's point A, so I'm here, and here's point B. So this is my delta G for the gray graph. Let's repeat the same process for the orange graph. Where is your point A? I started at the same point. Okay, so this is my point here. How about your final destination? I ended up at the same point. Oh, so you have the same delta G. That's why enzymes do not change the overall delta G. It is true that they lower the activation energy. However, the delta G does not change. If you want to be an excellent student, bring a blank piece of paper and draw all of this. Better if you can do it from memory without looking. If you enjoyed this video, you will like my antibiotics course on my website, medicosisperfectionetics.com, and my general pharmacology course, as well as my brand new surgery high yields course. Oh, by the way, you can download all of the biology notes in PDF forms at medicosisperfectionetics.com. And here is a 40% discount towards any course on my website. Use promo code TOXIDROME. Coming up next in this biochemistry playlist is the nomenclature of the enzymes, enzyme kinetics, including the crazy Michaelis Minton graphs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.